Okay, I got an FSA office. Uh, got a pretty big wall expanse. I got uh, about 14 feet. You can tell by the tiles. I need a couple things. I use an old regulatory sign cleat. Um, small torpedo level, regular drill. If you notice, put a set of crosshairs, and this line is exactly centered with this. And this, easy enough to draw. And from the center line, it's 10 inches out both ways. I'm going to hang two of them on this wall. Okay, measure your distance between the walls. Find wherever your middle is, your center. Again, this is when we're only hanging two. Uh, just put a little teeny tiny tick mark. Nothing major, just a little tick mark. And then you're going to want to come up. From the floor, come up exactly 71 inches. Put another little crosshair, nothing major. All right, then take this crosshairs, put the crosshairs on it, exactly where it's at. The crosshairs, put the crosshairs on it. Put my level on it, make it level. Circle this far out one. That's my right side. That's my left side. You can notice I put two perfect circles. Then using a drywall screw, and do not skip this step and think you can just use a wall dog. Because if you hit a stud, it'll walk on you real bad and you'll have a big nasty hole. But if you take the drywall screw and put it right dead center in the hole, see like there, I hit a stud. If I was using a wall dog, it would just walk all over the place. But now I'll use that for my anchor. And then on the other side, same thing. Come right in, dead center in the hole with the drywall screw. Now on this side here, I'm going to use my drywall screw again. And this time I'm going to take a template and just screw it to the wall for the moment. Take my level, <clears throat> level up, once I'm level, I draw my other circle, same thing on the other side, I'm going to use a screw that's already in place. template back up. Use it for making levels. I'm sure you can figure it out by this point. Now I measured that at exactly 71 inches up from the floor. Okay. Pull these out. Remember on the left side, I'm going to use a drywall screw. I'm going to leave that screw in there. Right. Back recording. Same thing, drywall screw, pilot your holes. Take the extra step to pilot the holes. Don't think you can shortcut it because I'm telling you. When you hit a stud and it wallers out all over the place, you're going to be cussing. So get into the habit of using it as a pilot. Put wall dogs on. Wall dogs. Put it in. Just until it stops. Don't overdrive it. And me on the other side. Screws. And don't forget, this is the one with the stud in it. So that's the one I'm bringing this drywall screw on. You can use a wall dog. You hear the clutch? Get your paintings. Remember to hook them on. Six inches, another book says four, anywhere six inch family will be fine. Don't forget to 
to erase your original uh, pencil marks? You want to leave them on the wall? And that's what you're exactly at. 72, where you're supposed to be. Sorry, 72. And you continue the sequence if you've got 1 or 12, because uh, the holes are marked, like I said, 10, 10 inches, so it puts those cleats exactly where you want them.